Okay, welcome to the webinar of today. It will be a technical uh, workshop okay, about smart money. You will learn how to use uh, smart money, uh, which is a unique approach to, to trade the, the Forex. Uh, first of all, I will uh, present myself. Uh, so, my name is uh, Renault. Uh, I am a trader and uh, IT engineer. I am French and uh, I am uh, 46 uh, years old. Uh, I've been living now uh, for four years in the Caribbean. Formerly, uh, uh, I've been living uh, four years in uh, France, in Germany, in uh, Austria, and uh, five years ago, I decided to move to Caribbean to change my style of living, and uh, this is where I started uh, a new career as a as a trader. So I started five years ago. I really started four years ago with trading and I am uh, now more than three years uh, full-time uh, trading Forex and uh, binary options uh, also. Okay. Um, so the purpose of, of uh, the technical workshop is to give you the opportunity to understand uh, all the details about how to trade uh, with the smart money uh, methodology. Okay. So first of all, uh, what are the tools that uh, you have to to learn trading? Uh, you have the user manual. Okay. Uh, you have uh, videos on uh, YouTube. And you have uh, the Facebook where I publish uh, news, events, okay, uh, example of of trades, and you have conferences, okay. Uh, I will try to to have conferences every week uh, until all users uh, are able to to trade properly with uh, the smart money uh, uh, methodology, okay. Uh, the user manual. Uh, it is important to check that you have the latest version. Okay, because uh, I already have released uh, several uh, versions of the of the user manual, so it is important to have the latest where because it is uh, of course the most uh, complete. Okay, the the very first version that I released was uh, very poor, uh, but uh, we have to start <laughs> at one point and uh, then uh, enhance uh, the, the the things. Okay. So, uh, first of all, uh, a general comment about uh, smart money. The, the principle is very easy. Uh, the principle is to uh, follow the, the trend uh, and enter uh, in pullbacks. So, for instance, we have a, a trend, uh, price is moving higher, we have a pullback, then price is moving further, a pullback, and price again uh, on the upper side. Um, so the r the green rectangle in this uh, slide represents the the indicator. Uh, it gives a price level, okay, which corresponds to the pullback, and it also gives uh, the direction of the the trend, the direction uh, we must use to to trade. Uh, so green means uh, we we should put a buy order. The rectangle can be also red, which means we will have to put a sell order, or it can be gray. Okay, gray means that uh, uh, we can't trade the, the the pair because there is no clear uh, trend direction. Okay, so it is better to stay out of the uh, of this pair okay to to wait until uh, we have a, a clear uh, uh, situation so uh, now uh, before going into the details about the the indicator I just want to to give you some uh, uh, general indications uh about uh, how to trade the forex okay uh and and the common mistakes uh of uh, of uh, forex traders 
because uh, it, it, I will explain it because uh, uh, this is a this is a common mistake and uh, it can be a problem if you don't understand this. It can be a problem to 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 trade with the smart money because uh, uh, you will not understand uh, properly how uh, smart money works and uh, how uh, and why it is. Uh, uh, working like that, okay. So the the common mistakes are the use of small stop losses, use of leverage, and early exit uh, out of trades. Okay, so I will start with uh, uh, with uh, the the leverage. Okay, so um, here we have an example of a trade uh, taken. Uh, the green uh, part, uh, the green uh, point, is uh, the entry, okay, and the uh, red uh, point is the exit of the trade. So here we are, we are in a, an uptrend, okay. Uh, so in this case, we will make uh, a profit, okay, if we place a buy order. So what is the what is the the, the 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 problem the problem is people say okay um, if I enter here uh, at the gr at the green point and I go out uh, at the red point and I made a profit of uh, 50 US dollar with a lot size of uh, 0 0.05 so uh, they they think ah uh, I should have put uh, a greater lot size because uh, I would have earned uh, much more money. Okay, for instance, they they would they would think if I had put uh, a, a one uh, point zero lot, then I would have won a uh, thousand uh, US dollar. Okay, and because people want to to make big money, they they will put uh, they will put uh, big uh, lot sizes to to their trades. And and they they think if I was able to earn a, a little bit of money, then if I put more uh, leverage, I will make big money. Okay, but this is a mistake. Uh, why is that a, a mistake? Because uh, okay, we we know the entry was at the the green point and the exit was was at the the red point, but the price does not move uh, like a line. Okay. Uh, the 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 price action uh, uh, it can be of uh, wide movements, okay, to the upside, but also to the downside. Uh, even though we are in a uh, we have placed a buy order, okay. Once we have placed a buy order and we know that the the trend is up, it does not mean that the price will move up, okay. The the price can move first to the downside make some movements and then finally go to the upside okay so if m it means that if you have placed uh, uh, an order okay with a uh, high leverage y your your account will won't be able to to accept large movements such as uh, a movement to the downside of 500 pips okay but the market uh, is uh, like this uh, s sometimes you 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 have a huge movement uh, in the opposite direction before uh, the price action finally goes in uh, in the direction uh, you you expected huh? Wh which is the the the, the trend Okay, uh, so therefore, uh, it, it, it is not a uh, good practice to use uh, big uh, big leverage. Okay, the the good practice is not to use leverage at all. Okay, or only uh, a small leverage like two. Okay, a leverage of two. Uh, of course, your broker gives you the opportunity to have leverage up to five hundred, up to thousand. Okay. Um, of course, the 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 biggest uh, the the lot size, uh, the better for the for the broker. Okay, that's why they p they give you the opportunity to use a bigger lot size, but uh, because they make uh, very good money, uh, but uh, it is a, a a danger for you. Okay, 
because it is not unusual to have a price movement of 3% uh, on uh, a given uh, currency pair. Okay, it does not happen every day, but it happens uh, frequently. So you must be pre prepared to have a, a movement of one, two, three percent um, of the of the the of the pair. Okay, you are trading. So uh, see if you do not use leverage, it means that uh, a movement uh, of three percent in the opposite direction um, than the one you expected will be uh, a move. Uh, of three uh, percent of the of the balance in your account, so this is sustainable. Okay, uh, you can accept to have a, a drawdown of three percent in your balance account uh, and wait for the price action finally to go uh, in the right direction. If you have uh, a, a leverage of ten, okay, which is a small leverage, uh, you would have uh, a price movement of 3% um, for the currency and 30% in your in your account which is unacceptable because uh, the good practice is not to put uh, more than 5% uh, of your balance uh, at risk uh, of your capital in your account at risk uh, so imagine if you have a leverage of 100 so it means that a 3% uh, price movement will uh, generate uh, a price movement in a, a change of, of of your balance of three hundred percent. So it means that uh, you are knocked out. Okay, your 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 account will be uh, uh, at zero. Okay, Th this is why you shouldn't use uh, uh, leverage. Okay. Um, all people want to make money and they think uh, leverage will help them but this is all the contrary uh, leverage is what they uh, what uh, will have them uh, make lose money okay so uh, if you want to to trade the smart money do not use uh, leverage because you you won't earn money uh, with smart money if you use leverage is it impossible okay because with smart money you must accept movements of 300 pips even sometimes of 500 pips in the in the opposite direction because 300 pips uh, is not something uh, huge this is the, the the movement you can have within two or three days so I if you enter a position uh, maybe the the price action will not uh, go I, uh, immediately in the in the direction you expect maybe the, the, it will first go in the opposite direction and finally in the direction that uh, you expect but uh, and and you must stay in the in the trade all this time okay so you must be prepared to 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 have uh, movements of uh, 300 or 500 pips in the opposite direction and this is not possible if you use uh, leverage so this is why you should not use leverage another uh, mistake I is to use small stop losses uh, why do people use small, uh, small stop losses? because they use leverage and because they, they know that uh, to to keep risk uh, small, they should have uh, small stop losses. So, for instance, uh, people will use leverage of 100 and will use a stop losses of uh, 30 pips. Okay, so this way they will keep a uh, risk uh, not that big. Okay, the problem is what I explained that uh, the, the the market uh, does not move in a channel of 30 pips the the market moves in in uh, channels of uh, some hundred pips okay so if you use uh, stop losses of 30 pips uh, you you will be stopped out uh, more than 50 percent of the time okay and and uh, so the uh, you won't you will not be as profitable as you expect because you will be stopped out uh, most uh, most of the time okay so the good practice uh, is to not use leverage, okay, and anticipate large and natural moves uh, of the market. So use uh, large stops, okay. Uh, if if really the the market goes against you more than 500 pips, okay, you can 
you can uh, you have to to manage the risk we will see how okay uh, but uh, if it is only a move of 200 pips or 300 pips this is uh, something very usual okay and you must stay in the trade you you have to wait until the the market finally goes in the right direction you expect okay so it was for the the common uh, mistakes um now i just want to say something about uh, the trend okay i say we go with the trend you have heard uh, the, the 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 trend is your friend uh, things like that okay but what market trend uh, do we have to take into account okay usually uh, people use a technical analysis and uh, look at the the trend of the past okay and say okay uh, the 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 trend was up so we are in an uptrend uptrend the trend was down we are in a in a downtrend but uh, the difference with smart money is that the the trend we give you with smart money with the the color of the rectangle is not uh, um, is not the trend of the of the past it is the trend of the future okay so this is the big difference between using uh, smart money and using technical analysis if you use technical analysis you don't know what is the the future trend okay this is just a guess and you have 50 percent probability that you are you are right okay if you use uh, smart money you will be right more than 90 percent of the time okay what can happen with uh, smart money is that you at the, at the time you place a trade okay you know what is the 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 the, the trend direction okay uh, maybe the price does not move the the direction you want okay and finally the the trend changes okay this can happen okay uh, if it happens you have to to close your your trade okay because if you if you put a buy order you put a buy order because we are in an uptrend okay so if the trend now is uh, in a downtrend there is no more reason to have a buy order so you have to close your buy order with a loss okay sometimes we have losses okay we we can't uh, win 100 uh, percent of the time um but uh, the we 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 have a big difference uh, between using technical analysis and uh using uh smart money which give you the trend for the future okay uh in one case we have 50 percent probability that we are right with uh technical analysis and with smart money uh, we are right more than 90 percent okay so we have a huge hedge uh with smart money compared to uh, usual technical analysis okay so this is something that is important to understand that uh, when i speak of the trend of the current trend i don't speak of the past trend okay i speak of the future trend which is the one that uh, we are interested in okay because the the the, the place we will trade uh, the um, uh, when we place our trade uh our trade will follow in the future okay we don't care what was the the, the trend of the past uh, in fact uh, okay um i want to make some comments about uh psychology okay uh okay I it is a technical workshop okay uh, i think the 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 smart money methodology is good okay uh, i use it for i've been using it for months uh there are banks there are hedge funds uh, using the same techniques for more than 50 years um w w the the best traders uh, in the world in the in the forex uh most of them use the this same technique okay so there is no problem with the the smart money uh, methodology i'm sure it is a very good uh, uh, very good uh, methodology but uh to earn money okay you must have a uh, good methodology you must have an edge okay but you also uh, need to to use the tools you have in the in your hands to to use them properly and uh, the mistake of a uh, lot tra of traders is that uh, 
they are they are looking in the internet with uh, courses they are looking for the best uh, methodology okay uh, they, 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 they spend a lot of time uh, on technical uh, matters but they forget that uh, trading is 80% psychology okay if you don't have the, the good uh, mindset you can have the best tools in your hands you will not be able to to earn money okay why because when we trade we use our own money okay and uh, we put our money on risk and uh, we want to earn money okay and we are usually not prepared to lose money okay so we have lots of emotions while trading and uh, we must be conscient uh, we, we must have consciousness of, of this and we have to control uh, to have control over our emotions okay when we trade we must follow the rules of the system okay so the decisions must be uh, must be taken following the rules of the system this is our emotions uh, can't uh, take the decision if, if we trade with our emotions we will lose for sure okay uh, because uh, our emotion will not uh, take the, the right decisions so we have to follow the rules of the system the entry okay why should I enter in this trade is that according to the rules of the system or is that according to my emotions okay each time you take a trade you must think uh, you must uh, think uh, why you should you, you do it okay the same for the management okay uh, you want to manage uh, your trade this or this way because of the rules of the system or because of your emotions and the same for the for the exit the the traders uh, have the fear to lose money okay uh, and uh, it can uh, uh, make them uh, take bad uh, bad decisions for instance to to get out of the trade early okay uh, and finally to to lose money greediness is, is the same uh, this is what I explained uh, earlier someone plays trades earns money and uh, with a small uh, lot size and uh, then uh, is thinking ah uh, maybe if I am able to earn uh, fifty dollars, maybe I am able to earn thousand dollars. So I will increase my risk. Okay, and uh, what happens is they finally uh, lose uh, money. Okay, other emotions is the will to recover losses. Someone lose money. Uh, they they have uh, monthly uh, objectives, so they they think it is unacceptable to lose money we are here to make money okay so what they will do I is they will try everything to 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 recover the losses uh, maybe they will increase the risk and finally they will put them uh, themselves in, in trouble okay so it is important to have the consciousness of uh, what uh, what are our emotions and we always have to to have the the control of the situation and uh, not let our emotions uh, take the the control okay the the some some scheme that uh, we can uh, uh, identify are for instance arrogance okay some some people have uh, good uh, results for some times okay they think uh, uh, they will always win always win always win okay they think uh, it's not possible they are uh, so good that uh, they can't lose okay uh, and they will put them at risk okay because they they don't imagine that they can lose and finally they will they will have uh, big losses okay other attitude uh, it, it 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 is what i explained the the fear okay we are in a position that is losing money we want to to close this position okay even with a loss maybe it was a good trade but because of the fear 
we we close the trail okay so this is not a good uh, attitude if we close the trail we must have a good uh, reason okay audio is gone okay uh, just one second please If you can, if you can uh, go out, okay, disconnect, go out of the the webinar, and come back again, okay. Tell me if you can hear me fine. Okay, it's loading. Okay, audio is good. Okay, so we can go home. Um, so uh, one can uh, exit a tray, a tray, close a tray because uh, uh, of the fear. Okay, uh, this is a bad uh, emotion uh, control. Uh, the same with greediness. Okay, uh, someone is uh, winning, uh, making good money. Okay, want to earn more will increase leverage and finally we lose money okay the 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 analysis was good the entry was good the the target was good the only problem is leverage okay which is too high why because of greediness because people want to make a uh, huge money uh, and this is not uh, like this okay um maybe you have heard some people telling you okay they are making uh, 30 percent I don't know, 100% uh, monthly increase in their account, okay? Do not believe these people, okay? Because maybe they have done it uh, one month, but uh, for sure they, 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 they lost a lot of money after that, but they, they won't tell you. The best trader in the world, okay? Uh, I know some of them, okay? The, 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 the one who taught me is one of the best, uh, the five top uh, best traders uh, of forex in the world he makes only five to ten percent increase of capital monthly okay so these are the results of the best uh, traders in the, in the world so don't put you goals objectives that are unrealistic okay you can't make 30 percent 60 percent or more uh, money uh, with uh, with forex on the long on the long term maybe you can do it uh, one two three four months but uh, someday it will uh, it it will uh, you you will you will be in big trouble okay and you you will lose a lot of money um, so a part of this okay um, i think everyone can uh, make money in the forex okay the only limits are in the brain okay so it is important to to say it uh, this is part of the psychology uh, I, I said one must have the good mindset okay the good mindset is to have confidence okay uh, in yourself and uh, think that you are able to to earn money in the forex like others okay you are not more stupid than others you just have to change your mindset and have the good tools and you will have um, success uh an aspect is not to to put daily objective daily goals to to earn money if you come to uh, to your trading desk with the idea today i will make 500 i will make a thousand us dollar okay this is not the good mindset uh, because it is impossible to know how much money you will make okay this is the market uh, that will decide how much you will make okay you can you can say the the market will move today uh, uh, 50 pips 100 pips 500 pips who knows uh, nobody knows okay so you have to accept that uh, this is the the market uh, that will uh, decide um, and it is better for uh, also for emotional control not to think about money while trading okay when you are trading you only have to follow the rules of the system and only think uh, at uh, at the rules okay 
uh, each time you make a decision you must uh, refer to the rules of the system uh, so the, the the idea is that money is not uh, a goal okay you 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 can't have a goal you just can uh, see with the time what are your results uh, look at the average earning that you have every month okay but you can't say every month I will make uh, 5,000 I will make 10,000 you don't know okay maybe one month you will make 5,000 and other months you may will make uh, 10,000 but maybe the next month you will lose 2,000 okay um, we don't uh, work as employees in uh, in uh, in an office okay uh, w w we manage uh, risk uh, while trading so w we try to manage it uh, the best way but uh, uh, we just work with probabilities okay there is nothing sure 100 percent in in trading in fact the money that you will get is uh, the logical consequence of trading properly uh, following the rules of the system if you stick to the rules okay you will earn money you don't know how much exactly but you will earn money so this is the only thing that uh, you must have uh, in uh, in your head okay um, another aspect is that uh, people come to the forex with the idea to earn big money and very fast okay I think uh, when people come to, to Forex and uh, start with a method, they should focus on learning first, okay? Uh, money will be the consequence, money will come, will come, uh, will come next, okay? Uh, when you start, use a demo account, use backtesting, and give you time to uh, get uh, confidence be before going to real and before you want to earn money okay uh, you must uh, have the confidence in the system you must have the confidence uh, of yourself uh, before you you want to to earn money okay so just one uh, point uh, i was speaking about uh, back testing okay so here you have the results of back testing of uh, smart money okay uh, these results are also on the the website of a uh, market trading mentor okay so uh, if you know how to read this uh, the profit factor the drawdown profit factor if you have profit factor about one it means your system is profitable usually we have profit factor of uh, two for good systems here we have profit factor ranging from one to nine okay depending on the pairs that uh, we trade okay so the, the 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 results are very good the same for the the drawdown okay usually we have drawdowns from 20 to 50 okay here we have on average uh, drawdown about 20 so this is very good very acceptable okay and here we have the percentage of winning trades okay usually uh, in the forex we have to be profitable we have uh, uh, percentage of winning trades of uh, 40 to 65 okay here we have a uh, percentage of 64 up to 95 okay more or less 80 90 percent of the trade will uh, will uh, end in positive okay so this is very high uh, score so this back testing I uh, I've done it when I started uh, to trade with uh, smart money okay when I saw the results I understood very quickly that I have a very good system and I can trust it uh, this is uh, something reliable okay it was uh, a back testing f from 1st of January to 15th of nov November 2014 okay so here we have uh, a quantity of trades we have very good results it, it can be uh, 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 if we have these results so it means that the the, the, the system uh, is very good we, we can uh, rely on it okay uh, so it gave me lots of, of confidence 
with uh, smart money and this is why I started uh, very very uh, quickly uh, on real account with a small account first and uh, then I increased uh, the, the, the lot size I increased the capital okay uh, I started uh, with a very low risk but uh, I was in real uh, very quickly uh, at, at the beginning uh, after I knew about uh, smart money okay so why is confidence uh, so important because if people do not follow the rules this is because they don't trust the system okay so if you want to have success you have to follow the the rules and if you want to follow the rules you have to trust your system so it is important the first step is to have confidence in the in the system uh, so with the results okay that uh, we have in back testing with results of our users and you also must have a clear mind okay uh, it means that uh, when you read the user manual when you watch the videos everything must be clear in your head okay if if it is not clear it is useless to start trading uh, how can you uh, how can you trade and earn money if uh, if you don't understand the the rules of the system if not if everything is not clear if is not everything is clear uh, your em emotions will gain control okay and uh, and you will uh, end uh, losing money okay uh, so it is necessary to trust the system to become uh, a winner okay and uh, the other fact is uh, uh, take your time go step by step okay uh, do not trade uh, on real account with uh, one lot size uh, the very first day okay do the things step by step start with a demo account uh, for time and when you have a good confidence in demo account then you can go to real first with a small uh, lot and then increase your lots uh, with with the time okay um, so now I've uh, finished with uh, psychology I think this is something important uh, because as, as I said uh, maybe you understand all the rules of the system but uh, if you don't have uh, consciousness of uh, importance of uh, psychology maybe you will never uh, have good results okay so it is important uh, to to work uh, also uh, psychology okay not only work with the system but work with the psychology control uh, your emotions okay um, I said earlier that uh, people exit uh, trades uh, early okay uh, so the, the I, I want to come back to to the rules when to exit the trade because entering the trade is uh, more or less easy uh, because you know the direction you should enter a trade and you know the price level you should enter a trade you just have to follow what uh, the the, indica the indicator uh, indicator is telling you okay so I think this is easy uh to get out of the trade is uh, a, a bit more difficult okay so uh what i saw is that uh, there are users who maybe will enter uh, good positions but uh they have losing trades because they close their trades uh early okay because uh, as i told uh, earlier maybe they have not a good uh, emotional control when they see that their position are uh, in negative when they see that the uh, uh, price is moving against them 100 200 pips they are afraid and they they want to to close their position okay so the rules are only close a trade if uh, your account is at risk okay if you have already five percent of your capital at risk okay maybe you should uh, you should close your your position okay but if you only have uh, one percent uh, of your capital at risk uh, an analyze it uh, really well before taking the, the the decision to close a position because uh, uh, it is not unusual to to have a price action uh, going against you uh, 200 pips 300 pips okay um, so the, the 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 second case when you can close a trade is is if the trend is changing direction okay so if you entered 
uh, uh, by order okay because the the indicator rectangle was green okay S if now it is gray or red the rectangle so it means the the trend is changing y in this case you can decide to to close the trade okay uh, it would be better to 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 close the trade uh, e uh, even more important if uh, we went from uh, uh, upside uh, trend to downside trend for instance who or the contrary from uh, downside uh, downside trend to upside trend okay because uh, as I, I told before if you entered a buy order you entered it because you were on uh, in a, an upside trend okay so if the trend has changed so you have no more reason to be in this trade okay so you have to close it okay um, otherwise if you are not at risk if there is no change in the trend you should keep your position okay until your trade uh, will reach your profit target okay maybe to reach your profit target it will uh, last uh, three hours maybe a day maybe three days maybe a week okay we don't know but as long as the um, the, mar the market direction as the trend is the same as when you opened your your trade uh, there is no reason to to get out of the trade okay um, so this is something important uh, if you want to have 90% uh, of uh, winning trades if you want to make money uh, you, you can't uh, close a position only because uh, you are now in uh, negative territories okay uh, this is usual this is normal to 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 be in negative territories because the the, the market does not move uh, like uh, a line okay uh, it, it moves with lar large movements to the downside, to the upside, to the downside, to the upside, okay? And uh, this is finally the average uh, that we have uh, in positive or the average in negative, okay? But we, we have to accept this, uh, these uh, movements, okay? Uh, now I want to tell you about um, hedging technique, okay? Uh, I, I don't know, Faisal, uh, if you have uh, seen uh, edging techniques, entry, exit, management in the user, man in the uh, user manual. Yes, okay, so you have the, l the latest version, okay? But uh, I, I just want to, to explain it. Uh, okay, great, you, saw, you see it in the, in the manual, okay. Um, so I, I I want to explain it uh, quickly. I, is that clear for you the the hedging or is that uh, important? I explain it uh, in detail. Okay, so I will explain it. So if you enter a position here, uh, imagine we are in. Uh, market that is uh, trending to the upside okay so we will put we have a pullback and we will put uh, a buy order of uh, with a lot size of zero run okay if market goes uh, against us okay we will um, we have a, an opportunity to have a better price okay to to, en to enter uh, a buy order so we will place a second uh, order okay for for instance in this case a buy order of zero one uh, lot again if the price goes further okay uh, in the opposite direction we will put a third uh, order okay always a buy order okay uh, the better the price, the, the 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 smaller the price, the better because we we want to to put a, a buy order. Okay, this is why I usually will increase lot size as the the price is going to the downside, um, and I want to place a buy order because this is a a better price. Okay, uh, if if the price is is uh, is low. Okay, so because it is a better price, I will increase uh, lot size. Okay, if uh, things are not going uh, well, okay, sometimes it can happen, something happens in the market, 
uh, even if we are in an uptrend maybe we can have a huge movement for some days uh, to the to the downside so we will not uh, put ourselves at risk so what we will do is we will put an edge okay uh, a trading edge uh, so what is a trading edge it is an order in the opposite direction of the initial uh, trade so that we can neutralize uh, effects of market movements okay here we have a buy of 0 1 another buy of 0 1 another buy of 0 2 so this is like an order of buy uh, of 0 4 lots so what we will put is at this stage we will put a sell order of 0 0.4 okay if the market uh, goes down it will not impact us okay it can fall thousands of pips we don't care okay because now our position is neutral okay the 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 the, the price can move to the downside can move to the upside we don't care uh, we have put an edge okay so if the price wants to go 500 thousand uh, pips uh, to the downside okay we will wait if if the if the trend is always up it means that at one time or another the the price will come back uh, to better levels okay so imagine that uh, the price come back okay to the price level of the the edge okay you will wait until a price comes back to the latest uh, position you opened uh, as a buy order okay this is the gr the green point when you arrive at the green point you will cancel your 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 edge okay so it means that you will close your selling order with lot size of 0 0.4 so because we entered the the edging at the red point okay and we will exit the this trade at the green point it was a sell order so we will lose money with the edging okay but this is not a problem we will see why so we we will lose money with the edging okay but if price came back to this level and we still are in a, an uptrend uh, th there is a great uh, probability that price will go uh, further to the upside okay and finally the the buy trades we we put um, will be profitable okay so maybe we have uh, lost money with the the hedge okay but maybe with the uh, the other buy orders uh, it will compensate it and we finally will close all the the positions uh, with a profit okay if we don't make a profit it is highly probable that we will have a small loss okay so what does it mean it means that if you place a trade and the the the, the things go uh, well okay you will make a profit if you place a trade and uh, things go uh, bad badly okay you place a hedge and placing a hedge you will maybe make a profit or a small loss so it means normally all trades you place with the smart money will end with a profitable trade or with a small loss and this is why the system is profitable okay uh, because w we you usually will not have uh, big losses with uh, smart money if you follow the, the 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 rules okay and this is important to to know this edging technique because uh, sometimes uh, it is necessary to to use it okay and if you if you don't use it so it means for instance at the green point at the red point you would um, close all your buy positions in a loss okay but if you use the edging technique you give you the chance to close this position with profit okay so it is important to know the 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 edging technique um, to to enhance the the profit profitability of the of the of the system okay so now i've uh, finished with uh, uh, explanations 
uh, and I will uh, answer your your questions. Okay, I hope you you have questions, and uh, I will be glad to 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 answer. Yes, as you say, hedging uh, need practice. Yes, of course. Okay, but uh, the scheme uh, I think is uh, is clear, uh, and if you have a clear uh, scheme, it is uh, easier to to apply it. Okay. So, do you have uh, questions? Yes. Okay. So, I hear you. So you have uh, three steps. You have entry, you have man management of the trade, and you have the exit. Okay, you have you need to have uh, every steps uh, very clear in your mind. If if uh, there is one step that is not clear, uh, so this is the the opportunity during the the webinar to put your questions and. Uh, go out of the webinar with a clear mind uh, to trade better okay um, so the questions now is if I re recommend to use a VPS uh, this is not uh, this is not uh, necessary to use a VPS I don't see what would be the benefit to, to have a VPS okay because uh, you can uh, I usually uh, recommend to place pending orders, okay, and to re review uh, your orders every day. So once you place your trades in your platform, in your uh, from home or for uh, from your office, uh, once you have placed your trades, the trades are at the server of your broker, uh, and, and I don't see a benefit uh, of a VPS. Okay, I, I don't know if it answers your your question about the VPS, but I don't see benefit of a VPS. I have a VPS, but uh, uh, because I have a software that uh, that work uh, 24 hours a day. But your platform, it is not necessary to have it uh, open 24 hours a, ba a day. Okay. Uh, okay. The, okay. You say the the VPS could be useful because the the trade will last for days but uh, once you have placed the the, the trade you can uh, you can uh, close your platform uh, and it will run on the servers of the of your broker okay so it is not necessary to to use a vps okay um, even if you close your platform the the trade is uh, always live okay so no there is no benefit of uh, using a, a vps VPS uh, can be useful if you use uh, an expert advisor and uh, the expert advisor uh, needs to to work 24 hours a day okay but uh, we, in the case of the smart money uh, we do not uh, need a VPS okay uh, how many pips is good for a stop loss um, the stop loss uh, wh what I do is I manage my, my trades every day okay I review my trades every day so if I pl if I place a, a, a stop loss to protect my capital I would uh, place a, a stop loss of uh, 300 500 uh, pips okay so that the the, the market can move and that I will not be stopped out uh, uh, frequently okay um okay this is uh, what wha what i think okay uh because if you if you put a small spot loss uh, s small stop losses you you will be stop out uh, frequently and uh, uh and you will uh, end uh, end up losing money okay Usually the market moves uh, 100, 200 pips uh, a day. Okay, so if you are going to review your trades every day, so you must put a stop loss uh, to protect yourself, but uh, and uh, and to let uh, your your trade let the price action move within this uh, limit uh, of uh, of uh, 200 and, and more uh, pips 
okay what about the take profit levels um, you you can start uh, uh, going out of trade after 50 100 uh, pips okay the, I explained in the user manual there are uh, several techniques or you have uh, a profit target okay that you can uh, uh, define with uh, su uh, support and resistance levels okay so you will put your take profit at uh, at a resi resistance or, or support level okay this is the, the first uh, um, option the second uh, possibility is uh, to to use uh, trailing stops so w once you you are in a profit in your position once you have uh, more than 30 50 pips you can put your uh, stop loss to break even so it means that if price uh, goes against you you will uh, go out with um, with uh, of the position with a small uh, win okay uh, but you 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 won't uh, lose money if price goes further okay you have a profit i don't know of 80 100 pips you can uh, move your your stops uh to 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 capture the 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 profit okay uh, so you you will uh, follow the the movement of the uh, of price action and uh, and uh, move your 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 stop okay uh, until you are stopped out and uh, uh, and you will make your profit okay so this is about uh, how to how to take the the profit okay so you tell me it is uh, okay you got it great uh, another question okay uh, so uh, how uh, how are things uh, going now with uh, smart money are you uh, in demo account are you uh, with real account okay yes of course you can uh, put uh, other uh, questions in the facebook okay now you are in demo okay and you feel uh, comfortable with uh, smart money or uh, does it seem uh, confused to you it seems very easy okay and you use uh, very uh, we, uh, you use uh, pending orders okay great okay uh, so it means that uh, every day you make uh, a bit of profit in uh, your demo account okay sometimes you miss the the entry point okay Th this is uh, normal okay uh, it is even uh, it is this normal it happens very frequently and and even more uh, now that uh, in the market we have uh, big uh, big moves uh, trends that are very strong and since the method is based on uh, uh, trading pullbacks uh, with a, a strong uh, trend this is not an optimal situation okay because if you have a strong trend there are uh, very low uh, pullbacks and this is difficult to to uh, to enter in the market okay so now the the, the the market situation is not ideal for uh, to trade the uh, pullbacks okay um, uh, for the time being i have very few positions opened okay um, i usually have more okay uh, now i have uh, eight positions Ma sometimes i have uh, 12 and, and and more okay uh, because uh, i had problems to to enter in the in the pullbacks so this is not a problem you must be patient okay you place your trades as you uh, following the rules and you have to wait and uh, the the opportunities uh, will come okay uh, so if price is uh, 
far from the red or the green zones, this is because the trend is very strong, okay? So we have to wait for better market conditions, we have to wait for uh, a weaker trend with uh, pullbacks, okay? Uh, but uh, do not take uh, risk, okay? Follow the, follow, follow the rules, okay? So when uh, you have one question uh, when is that good to check the, the zones okay you can check the, the zones uh, once or two or twice uh, a day it depends the time you have um, yes if you check it before the UK session this is a good a good time to, to do it okay uh, or you can do it uh, at uh, now uh, at uh, zero uh, at the beginning of the GMT uh, day okay for uh, for instance now or in one or two hours it depends uh, your availability but uh, now or at the beginning at the UK session is a good time to 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 check your your position okay okay great do you have uh, other questions Okay, thank you. So I understand that uh, you are happy uh, so far with the, the system and uh, you are making uh, progress. Is that right? Yes? Okay, making uh, smaller uh, profits. Okay, great. Okay, yes, but uh, you... You have to go step by step. You you will not uh, make a big money uh, uh, so easily, okay? And as I told you, uh, the best traders in the world only make uh, five to ten percent uh, increase of capital uh, every month. So this is not a uh, huge huge uh, benefit. Um, but uh, with the with the time, uh, with uh, compounding, you can have uh, exponential uh, profits. And uh, you can make a big money in the if you are patient. Uh, if you are patient, you you can big uh, make big big money uh, in the in the future. Okay, but uh, the first step is uh, is uh, is to learn. Okay, yes, um, ten ten pips uh, is good, but you can make uh, better. Huh? You it is easy to to make uh, twenty five thirty pips uh, every day. There, there are lots of opportunity. Uh, usually you have uh, uh, three, five, six uh, uh, trades every day, and uh, and uh, it is easy to 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 make more than uh, ten pips. Ten pips uh, is not uh, is not uh, that uh, that that uh, high. Okay, it it is better to to have trades with uh, more more pips. Okay, so yes, uh, step by step. Okay, so. We will uh, finish the, the presentation. Uh, thank you very much for your participation, for your questions. Uh, we will um, keep in touch, okay, uh, over Facebook uh, and in the next uh, webinars, in the technical workshop. Workshop. We will have uh, another one next week, and uh, my. Uh, my will is that uh, all users of the smart money uh, will uh, will make money uh, with uh, the methodology and uh, with the indicator so i will be uh, on your side uh, until you can make uh, good money with uh, with the methodology okay thank you again and uh, have a good night and uh, we keep uh, we keep in touch okay see you bye